How are you? Good, how are you? Good, good. I didn't notice it until the tow truck came and yeah. I was like, oh, wait a minute. Whatever, guys, let's start our spring early this year. Oh! That's Calgary for you. My Street Hunter wing is for sale. Always go bigger and then go home. What up? Good morning, my guy. How are you? Yo, what up, guys? Welcome back to the channel and to the videos. Um, today, we're gonna go back to the garage and just keep cleaning up, I guess. All right. Hi. Hey. How are you? Good. How are you? Good, good. Uh, it's the, that's the new one. Sure. It just has the right VIN number on it. Okay, sweet. It probably worked out that I didn't notice that right away. I didn't notice it until the tow truck came and yeah. I was like, oh, wait a minute. It's for your other one, right? Or yeah. if you even have it anymore, I don't so, know. No, I do. Uh, yeah. Long story short, uh, that Celica is, well, what I do for a living is like I buy really cheap cars. Yeah. And then I flip them, like sure. I, aftermarket parts and stuff. Sure. So that is actually, like I have a bill of sale and everything ready for that. So it's Kay. going to the next owners, like on the Facebook marketplace. We literally just opened up a garage on Edmonton Trail, but I'm just yeah. looking into this stuff now. Just like that would save you some headaches right because then you're not constantly worrying about is this registered is this one registered right yeah, yeah that makes sense yeah. okay yeah sure. i used to date a girl years ago her dad but he was an auto broker so he yeah. did he wouldn't really fix them up and he'd basically go to auction and buy like 20 well, that's, cars that's what i'm trying right? to do get into and then he'd just sell them or he like he might fix them he might not he'd be he'd just basically get them at a good price and sell yeah. them right then yeah. Yeah, so she was always driving around with dealer plates. Totally. Like, like, I know Real Auctions does that a lot. And yep. Like, that's where I'm kind of like sure. scouting. Yeah, there's lots of like out of the house type businesses that do it, making well, quite a bit of money. Oh, sweet. Well, t thanks for taking the time. Yeah, well, I'm sorry about the so. tickets, man. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, man. You're just doing your job. Fair enough. Gonna, yeah, thanks for being here, about it. Appreciate it. Oh, of course, man. Okay. <laughs> it's all good. Thank you. Take care. You. Yeah, you too. Just let this guy back. Have a good day. Bye bye. Cheers. Hey, you chillin', boy. I want a house in the hills I pay big bills for. I ain't got a pocket. I want to empty out my wallet. I want to stop motion, stand still, while it's in ground. I want to talk more endlessly. I want an erratic sheet of my mama. I want to talk to my The cop came back because apparently he gave me the wrong ticket, which, A, some of you guys are probably like, Bertie. Could have freaking gotten away with it. Why did you tell him anything else? I want to live my life by the book, okay? Well, obviously, breaking rules, pushing the program here and there. There's just the silver linings to all the risky shit that you partake in in life. And uh, this one is just going to force me to actually get the proper documentation for all my cars. So he actually suggested, which is what I was looking into, was getting an actual vanity plate. Or not vanity plate, a dealer plate for all my cars just because I have a business. I don't know why I haven't looked into this before, but probably would make things a lot easier. <laughs> Interesting way to start our morning. Well, all right, this is probably gonna be a bad idea, but it's gonna be plus six today, which is 42 degrees Fahrenheit for you Americans. So I feel like the main roads are gonna be dry enough for us to have a little bit of fun today. So we're gonna be taking out the Street Hunter Supra today. Not just my mama. I wanna hit the ball out on random pedestrians. I want my questions to be answered to my brain board and questions. I want more self assurance. I don't ever wanna second guess. I want to shut the up. Whatever, guys. Let's start our spring early this year. What you want, baby? But I might be. Yeah. Just a little right. more than I Come on. can give you. Why I say this might be a bad idea is because. Our streets are still filled with tons of gravel. It's, it's more so the city trying to protect the drivers from sliding all over the place. So they pour salt and gravel all over our roads. But this entire car is fully PPF, so the paint is protected with this film, except my Street Hunter kit isn't, so I'll just be really careful when I'm driving. Not to get too close to anyone in front of me. Defensive Driving 101. I don't know, man. Calgary's full of aggressive drivers. Now, before we run off to do our errands, there is one part that really should have been installed on this Supra from the very beginning, and it's to help alleviate our turbulent open window driving experience, especially in the Supra. Um, so shout outs, AWE Tuning. This is the wind deflectors that go in this little area right here. So I'm quickly just gonna install these, then after we can actually give you guys some feedback after personally testing it out. Hey, look his back. <laughs> now he wants to go. He's like, pull me to help me. You're not driving that today, are you? 
I kind of was thinking about it. There's a lot of rock. I know, it's all about gravel. I figured it's going to be like plus six today and I'm getting bored. <laughs> yeah, the main roads will be okay, but it's literally just A to B and then back into the garage. What? What? <laughs> oh, uh, believe it or not, also window protection film. Like I, I tried to make sure everything here is protected. So even like, yeah, that's something I should get you guys to do, especially on your Mercedes. What is that, go jump? Wanna help me open this? So those are my neighbors, and they actually love taking this guy for a walk, which is good for me and good for them because this guy gets tired out, and I guess they get their exercise. All right, let's throw these on the soups and test them out, finally. Never to see you again Sweet. That was simply delusion Followed up with confusion That was just substitution For a lonely bed So that's impressive How much I'm messing With my feelings and my heart Oh yeah Yeah that's impressive I think this side I installed a little bit further than the other But that's okay Only minor detail that only I would know uh, that I shouldn't even have kept in this vlog, but whatever. It's pretty much the basic idea is the wind goes like this. And if you have your windows open, instead of it curving right behind the wall, the wind gets deflected off this like a ramp. And that's why it's called the wind deflector. So go whoop, out this way, whoop. Actually away from the window. I guess let's test this thing out. Like I honestly can't give you guys an example through video of how it actually changes the sound or the reverberation in here. But yeah, main streets are dry enough, so we're okay. Oh, okay, no, I noticed a huge difference. That's amazing. Could be a placebo, but I feel like I can actually hear the difference. hearing hit underneath the car too and the thing about this is like Calgary doesn't get rid of this stuff for like two months after the last snowfall that's Calgary for you man I forgot how fast this thing actually was oh I miss driving this <laughs> while I have you guys on and I'm hands-free so my plans once I purge most of my cars that are in my possession I'm gonna keep the Toyotas so we're gonna keep the XB uh, I've decided to keep the Celica and the FRS obviously that's staying in the stable and then the Supra is gonna be our supercar killer so the plan is to work on getting this thing to be super fast which means more performance parts. Probably gonna start that off by getting a new big turbo for this thing. But again, I gotta get funds first. <laughs> Believe it or not, YouTube, especially on my end, doesn't actually pay me as much as you think. A lot of it is because I don't consistently upload as much as I should be. And the oil warning just came on. <laughs> well, I decided, I mean, Timmy's and the pet store are right there, but for some reason, this grocery shop is shut down or something so I have this entire lot to myself I'm gonna take some photos of beautiful Supra this is actually an okay spot Also, I want to get coil over. 
maneuvers for this thing because the springs right now especially since we're running spacers because my ag wheels don't fit the wide body it's bouncy as fudge yeah not the best suspension right now Perfect. I'm just gonna quickly grab some curfew and we'll see you guys in a bit here. Please don't ever trust me to park this car again. Oh my god. I'm actually up on it. Oh. And also, I should really put this car away before we get into any more trouble. Time to play the music of my people. Well, coffee acquired. AWE. Shout outs. Thank you guys for this car. It actually makes such a big difference. I like to say anyway, like hard for me to actually accentuate little things like this especially through the camera on a vlog but just take it from me guys it's so worth it especially since all the other ones out there uh, are like around 300 to 400 dollars USD just for these two tiny pieces that you put on your mirror AWE tunings is only a hundred dollars guys so go grab your cake if you own an A90 or A91 uh, pretty sure fairly universal now that I say it I'm sure it's universal for other cars too because it's like a 90 almost a 90 degree angle so as long as your mirrors kind of have that shape or that corner you can use these virtually for any other car still so gravelly oh my god <laughs> first things first when we actually take this out when it's real springtime we gotta change the coils. Get better suspension. Back into the garage, guys. <laughs> These are perfect for stock body Supra, not wide body. Right now I'm running spacers on them. I think like two, two inch spacers. Pretty fat spacers too, like gross. And also my Street Hunter wing is for sale. Don't ask me why. Actually, we're going bigger. Always go bigger and then go home. Probably would have been a good idea to actually wash this thing before I put the tarp back on it. I never did that before putting it in here. I don't treat this thing as nice as I should be. I don't treat any of my cars as nice as I should be. <laughs> Cheers. At least we got a cubby. <laughs> what the fuck? Salut! We'll actually see this in a couple of weeks. <laughs> Today was a grace day. I'm fortunate. There's another splitter. Protein feast. Damn. Yeah. Don't fucking Hey! Eggs, you got the brocks. Switch to brown rice, fellas. Oops. Okay, mac and cheese up in the oven, grandma finished cooking. Before I end this video, been thinking, because we moved, we practically moved our entire star back here to our house. I'm sitting on a whole bunch of Hot Wheels. Wait, that's not a Hot Wheels. Everything from your basic common to your super, super rare. Like some of these, I compared prices on eBay and they range anywhere between like 20 to $30 for one of these. And since I'm going through this car selling phase, at the moment, I've decided that I'm gonna let go of this entire collection. This is years worth of me going through the shelves at Walmart, Dollar Store, uh, Toys R Us, London Drugs, just picking up my favorites or particular cars that I had a liking for. Actually, some of the more rarer ones uh, I've picked up from the fan expos, which like some have been collected from years, years ago, even before I was born. I have a whole bunch. So I've been thinking, uh, honestly, I have no other place to keep these other than pinning them straight back up onto the wall here at our house. But I don't want to do that. It's just going to collect dust. And I mean, it's cool to look at, 
But I mean, for some of these, I, I'm sitting on doubles too. So I can already see two 944 Porsches right there. <laughs> two whatever these are, this is called the Track Manga Hot Wheels. Interesting. Ooh, that's pretty rare. I have several Integras, all different paint jobs. Not Hot Wheels, but straight from Japan. It's dope. Someone actually owns this in Calgary. So yeah, guys, these are now all available online on our website, Kings Must Rise, as Hot Wheels blind packs. So what you guys get inside this package is a set of Kmart decals, one Kmart key tag, and of course, your collectible Hot Wheels car. Now obviously, the higher the price, the more rare the toy inside your package, but keep in mind it is still a blind box, so it'll still be a surprise. Just know I'll keep it fair, because if I try to sell this on eBay, it's just going to take me that much longer to upload everything, proper descriptions, proper photos and whatnot. Uh, whereas if I just do it this way, upload it as blind boxes on KMR, all I need is one stock photo of a Hot Wheels box and <laughs> just black out the cars. They don't all have to be the same. I mean, they all can be the same, sorry. That's what I meant to say. So yeah, anything else, Bertie? Not to mention that car season is almost here. I am still purging my cars so that I only have a select few to, to really get the most out of this year, you know? So the FRS, the Scion XB, the Supra, and the Celica. All Toyotas. I know guys, I'm just, I'm ready to have fun again with my friends and it's been too long. Like winter here, it's too long. <laughs> Sometimes it sucks, especially if you don't really plan out for it. I mean, my time, winter time filler project this year was supposed to be the XB. It is the XB, but in all honesty, that thing should have been finished by now. I'm just prolonging it selectively. <laughs> yeah, let's work on the XB. So that's it, guys. All of these Hot Wheels are available. I've already taken my personal favorites that I'm gonna actually keep in my possession. There's only like five, including an FRS. There's like a Green Sound XB in here somewhere. I have a select few that I really truly wanna keep for myself. The rest can go to you guys. Kingsmistrials.com, Hot Wheels Blind Boxes. Dog's barking, be right back. What are you barking at? Come over here, I'm selling my Hot Wheels. Go on, come say hi to the vlog. Don't be rude. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Can you wave? Go on. Come on. Can you wave? Bye bye. Come on. Bye bye. Yeah. See you guys. Can I just quickly organize this? Actually, that's not as much as it looks when it's not in a pile and more organized. <laughs>